Hey guys, this is Z and happy 2019. What better way to start the year than to show you how my setup has evolved since January 1st, 2018. If you haven't seen my last year's setup, make sure to check it out in the card above or in the link in the description. This video is actually a first of a video playlist that contains the most important components of my desk setup. Each video is a review where I go into details about every aspect of the products. So if you eyeball something that you find interesting, make sure to check it out in the playlist below where I've placed links for the actual items as well. So without further ado, let's begin. So my last year's setup was version 3 and what I have here today is actually version 5. I had an in-between setup which main idea was to be all blacked out and follow a grayscale scheme but after using it for a while I didn't enjoy it that much so here's version 5. I'll start with the desk. I use IKEA Bikan sit standing under frame with Carly countertop. This is actually my second Carly countertop. The first one went into my garage because silly me, I decided to lacquer it. Not only did I use the wrong lacquer, but I realized that I hate the end result and the terrible reflections. So the desk itself is pretty sturdy. It comes with cable management net on the bottom and it goes up and down motorized using simple buttons. Unfortunately for some, it doesn't have memory options, but that's not something that I care about. Moving on to the beast of a monitor. This is LG's 43 4K panel model number 43UD79. My review of this behemoth of a monitor was extremely successful on my channel, which leads me to believe that a lot of people are interested in this very affordable display, so make sure to check out my review. Now I've placed this 28 pound monitor on a simple TV wall mount at an angle and at a distance far enough and high enough to reduce back and neck fatigue to a minimum as well as eliminate eye strain. Before I finalized my desk, I looked around to find a replacement for this display, something perhaps with HDR support or higher refresh rate. But after a long research and store hunting, I came to the conclusion that for this price and that size, this monitor still beats most of the competition. Sure, it doesn't have HDR, but it has great color representation, good out of the box calibration and all the IO that you might need. The brains of the desk or the item that combines everything into one place is OWC's Thunderbolt 3 dock that the company Otherworld Computing was kind enough to send me for review. This sleek USB-C dock helps me keep my desk organized where it gathers all my accessories and connects them to my MacBook Pro using one single cable. This cable also carries power to my 15-inch MacBook and I get to sit on my desk and be productive without being distracted by any cable mess. All of my video scripts, business ideas or other work related input goes into my laptop using the one and only Low Free Four Seasons mechanical keyboard. This beautiful tactile keyboard inspires me just by looking at it. It uses blue switches, it can connect to three Bluetooth devices and it is backlit. I only have one beef with it and that is the location of the right shift button. But you can get all the details in my separate video review. While I listen to the typing sounds of the keyboard, I tend to nod my head on a beat and 50% of the time that beat comes low and crisp from the Marshall Warburton Bluetooth speaker. As with my monitor, this is perhaps the biggest Bluetooth speaker that you can buy and as I go over in my review of it, I explain to you why I keep it at a maximum volume of 2 out of 10. So if you've never experienced Marshall before, make sure to check out the review of the biggest Marshall Bluetooth speaker called Warburton. The other 50% of all music or video editing is done privately using my recently acquired Sony headphones model number WH-1000XM2. These are the older model of the newest XM3s, but I use them as the bang for the buck right now because you get 99.9% .9 of the newest headphones experience while saving tons of money. These headphones, if you are not aware, are the top of the line noise cancelling over the ear headphones that provide excellent break from your surroundings and tons of feature, which I describe in details in my review. Let's talk about lights. My logo above my monitor is represented by Nanoleaf light panels, formerly known as Aurora light panels. These are colorful triangle smart lights that connect to each other to represent the shape of your choice. The expansion of these panels is probably endless and you can do all sorts of shapes and forms with them. You can even hook a rhythm module that listens to your beat and helps you feel as if you are in a club. The light panels are part of my home kit and work with my existing hue lights to light up my studio. I have one hue strip on the back of my countertop, six hue bulbs around the room and one goal light that sits behind the Warburn that I use for various product shots. There is one other light that I absolutely love and changes the look of my desk and that is BenQ's screen bar that sits quietly on top of my monitor. 
Once I turn this light on, even if I have all my other lights off, it makes my desk look awesome. It helps the color of the countertop pop up and most of all, it doesn't poke my eyes out. So you might think that's all, but there's one more thing. I recently got my iPad Pro and I got hooked up doing all my video edits on it using the awesome app called LumaFusion. Since the new iPad comes with USB-C port, I must have accessory and the one that I recommend is OWC Travel Dock. This tiny square box provides all the necessary ports to your USB-C powered tablet or laptop and it helps me hook up my iPad to my giant 43 inch monitor and exhibit iOS icons in epic proportions. I have other bits and pieces of accessories and gadgets throughout my desk that I'll try to link in the description below. But if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. I promise I read all of them and I'll try to help you out by answering your questions. I hope with this video I managed to bring some joy and inspiration in your new year and I wish you guys all the best. It's been an absolute pleasure. This is Z. Over and out.